This is the Negro Ninja. And the pattern with these holes are always the same, okay? And this is something that I was talking about a couple of years ago of what happened during the quarantine. You know, chicks was becoming more active to people, you know, um, because a lot of times they ignore messages, but they started being more outgoing because they was bored and they would get on live a lot. Okay, and ever since then, I noticed that chicks begin on live more than usual anyway. Okay. <clears throat> and particularly the ones that like to do whore stuff, you know, the, the ones that get up there and do freaky stuff. They love to do freaky stuff and then sit down and say, respect me for my brains, not my body. <laughs> There's more to me than ass and titties. Okay. Now, you can tell that this bitch is not living in reality because any woman with sense, I don't care how respectable a woman is. A true respectable woman knows her purpose, that she is ass and titties. Okay, well, you know, now if she was around other women, yeah, you could, she could say some stuff like that, but men and women are designed to have sex with each other. Nobody gives a damn about anything except for your ass and titties when it's a dude. I don't give a dang. Yeah, sure, we may like your intelligence. Okay, but we can't fuck your intelligence. Okay. But women know this, so they try to use sex, you know, not only to get your attention, but to get your mind. We talked about this too many times. It's basically just witchcraft, because all hoes are guaranteed to play with some astrology. Okay, play with some black magic, white magic, whatever they call it, it's all the same thing. Reading tarot cards and etc. Okay, they are always after your mind. Okay, that's why they play so many games. They have to play games. Every bitch play games when they're overly sexual. That's something I notice. I mean, they do it when they're not overly sexual. Um, but games is games to a whole. And, you know, it's different levels of whoredom. A bitch can whore without ever taking off a, a piece of fabric. But the thing is the same. It's always tempting. Okay, always trying to draw you in. Then they try to pick your brain. Okay, so the girl just got up here talking about something. I'm trying to teach y'all something. I said, you ain't supposed to be teaching that shit. Why are you teaching these young hoes nothing? Okay. And she just kept going and doing. Okay. Can nobody tell her nothing? Okay, then she's trying to preach the Bible. Then she's trying to preach the secret sprinkled in with the Bible. Okay, and a dude taught her this stuff, by the way. That's what make this funny. She just don't remember the nigga's name, but he taught her these things. I'm like, nigga, read the Bible more. It's not putting all this secret stuff in there. Talking about the law of attraction, etc. And the pattern is always the same because once again... This is the same exact way that holes pretty much aided the devil in destroying mankind. Okay, rebellion. Oh, let me go out there and be a hole. Okay, they, then they have a stupid nigga in their ear. Okay, then they try to teach his game to you. In the same way that God told Eve not to eat that apple. Adam listened, but they part in different ways. Adam do over here doing something. Eve over here being a hoe. Okay. And sure enough, the devil slips up in this bitch's ear. Eat the apple. Okay. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have did that. Eve, what did you do? I just ate the apple. It's okay, though. Here, try it. Here. Okay. That is what that is about. Okay. They tried to kill you because they themselves are dead. That's one of the main reasons why. Eve did it anyway. I can't just get in. Uh -uh. It happened to me. It need to happen to you. All right. And one of the main reasons why I made sure to tell this story, because it just happened like five or 10 minutes ago. Okay. It's because the Bible, like if you read the Bible regularly, you know that the Bible is very specific on men picking the right women. Because one of the things that God makes clear is if you pick the wrong woman, she turns you away from him and you start worshiping other gods. Okay, now let's go back to what I said this chick was talking about. 
Okay, she was mixing biblical stuff with the secret, the law of attraction. And she only did that because I said, you ain't saying nothing biblical. Nobody want to hear this. Then she just started trying to put some scriptures in with it. Okay, manifestation. Manifestation is not biblical. But you always try to hear these people that teach it, add the, the Bible with it just to get you hooked. Why not just teach the Bible exclusively and just decipher the more complex things in a, into a more digestible manner? They can never do this. They always trying to take away from God's word and add their word to it. Okay, a hole is the very definition of a polluted water well. Okay, you can't just look at holes on Instagram, shake their ass in peace no more. They're trying to preach to you. Okay, these holes are just like the Jehovah Witness. Okay, it's, uh, they don't knock on the door. You just hear them clapping their ass cheeks outside. Okay, that's what gets your attention. Who is this? Okay. All right, because any bitch that makes sex seem easy or try to put the idea of sex in your face, you always got to watch them. You always got to watch them because they genuinely believe that when a nigga get a hard on, they think that one thing works over the other. That's that's not how it works. Bitch, I can have an erection to tell you that you're retarded. Okay, a butterface could get a nigga hard, but you're still going to know anybody with some sense. You're a butterface, but you got a fat ass. Okay, that's not going to stop you from knowing that this bitch is ugly. She's got a sexy shape, but you would still hit. And that's as far as you're going to go, as far as, you know, but a stupid nigga, you know, oh, she's just giving it to me. Whoever gives me the pussy, you know, that's what they hope to attract. Okay, and essentially they're trying to weaken you with horniness or trying to make you horny or whatever. Okay, doing that little salivating dog with the bell trick. Okay, because one could even say that blue balls is a form of trauma. And you know it is. Anything painful is traumatic. I just wanted to stop. You gonna listen? You know, just touch my penis, please. <laughs> well, I can't do that, but I'll just give you the idea. Okay, your idea is better than nothing. It's, it's, it's close to being touched. Maybe you'll touch it in the future. Okay, but believe it or not, niggas actually think like that for real. A lot of them are like that. Okay, and that's why they want you dumb. It's, there's so many ways to prove why a chick want a man stupid. Okay, she don't need you to send up there saying, okay, you shaking your ass, why are you talking to me? I don't want to hear nothing. Then you saying some stupid stuff. Okay, then it takes away from her validation. She no longer feels like a goddess if she can be criticized into saying that you should not be teaching a man. Okay, we actually got into it on that mug. You know, I started to click off, but I'm like, you know what, this bitch need guidance. Let me see what she's about to say. Okay, and she was just basically trying to, you know, basically coming onto the stream, teaching everything that this dude taught her. And I don't know who the heck he is because she don't know his name either. And everything sounds like that of a, of a freaking wizard teaching. Okay, and this also just flat out proves that the more promiscuous the horse seems, the closer another nigga's watching her, feeding her shit to tell niggas or to do to niggas. You know, like how niggas use hoes to set other niggas up. Go over there and get everything you can from him. See what he tells you. Da -da -da. Same exact thing. Cause I bet you I put money on it that this particular bitch has set niggas up with her coochie before. Okay. And I also think that this illustrates the perfect um, clarity between a woman that is that doesn't make it difficult in a woman I don't, I don't want to say easy because they try to make it seem easy but you, you know you want a chick that just gives it to you without it being a game okay you shouldn't have to work for it meaning it should just happen because you know just the chemistry just you know oh we just had sex because we just like each other. You're just talking. Oh, we interacting. You don't even think about it. Okay, but with bitches like that and just the average bitch that there's no true connection with is always, hey, come over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and once again, what make that extra stupid is a woman is sex. You see a woman, 
you already knew it. She don't have to sling her titties everywhere, her ass everywhere. Okay. One could even call that an insult to your intelligence. Bitch, I know I will fuck you. Okay, now the correct response to that, you know, from her part is, okay, she know you wants to fuck, but she would never put it out there in front of everybody. Okay, that's why I'm big on chicks that like to keep things discreet. Okay, because attraction, like when you just look at attraction in general, like genuine attraction, it's always between you and her. Okay, remember my old stories. That's why people, one of the main reasons why they like to watch it. Let me see who he, who has the attraction to him. Okay, because she's not making it known. Like if she just want to flirt and do something subtle. That's just for you. Okay, so oh, that is. Okay, and then that's when all this started happening. <laughs> okay, which may or may not throw salt on your game. Just depending on how legit the chick is. Okay, if she's legit, nobody could stop you. Okay, but these chicks already has a nigga in their ear basically doing the same thing. Okay, so they already got before you even see her. All right, so overall, just be very careful of seductive women. Okay, they do not want to just give it to you. It's, always, it's, it's just like the devil coming at you with a proposition. If it seems too good to be true, then it is. Okay, then another example regarding that. Because a lot of chicks usually only do crazy stuff like twerking hardcore on the OnlyFans. So if they just do it out there for free for everybody to see, they're not necessarily just thinking about attracting OnlyFans viewers. These hoes is on a mission. All right, they are always on a mission. If it took whores to destroy the earth once, it takes it to destroy it again. And that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.